Hey guys and welcome back to Build a Central. There's not been one day where we haven't got questions or DMs along the following line. Is Bubble better than Webflow? Is no code better than low code? Give us a comparison. Today we're going to be doing just that. Let's rate all the no code tools. So we're going to take these no code tools and put them to a tier list showdown along with an all-rounded scoring system. So is your favorite no code tool going to win? Let's find out. We'll be judging these app builders on six key metrics. The first one is going to be ease of use. Can a non-techie build an app without pulling their hair out? The second one is customization. Can you make your app stand out or will it end up looking like everyone else's? The third one is integrations. Does it play nicely with other tools? This is a really, really important point. The fourth one is scalability. The question which keeps the founder awake at night. Can your app grow with your business? This is extremely crucial. Now the fifth one is community and support. Is are they just a click away or do you have to get all of your support on your own? And last but not least, pricing. Let's face it, it is important to choose cost efficient product. Each metric will be scored from one to five, with five being the best, and the total score will determine which tier the app builder lands in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start with is Adalo. Now, Adalo makes app building easy, it's user-friendly interface and straightforward design process, making an excellent choice for those just starting out. So for Adalo, I'd say the ease of use is a four, the customization is a three, integrations being another three, community and support is also another three, scalability at a four, and pricing we'll put at a three. That brings the total score to about 20, so that would put it in an A tier list. Congratulations, Adalo. The next tool, which is Retool. Okay, so Retool is a powerful low-code platform that excels in creating internal jobs and admin panels. It has an extensive library of pre-built components and integrations. It clearly looks like an S tier tool and some might put it there as well. I think ease of use for Retool would be a four. Customization would also be a four. Integrations would be a five. Scalability of four. Community and support, a strong four, and pricing, we're gonna put at a three. Okay, so with a strong four of 24 points, this also goes in the A tier list. So we've got Retool and we've got Adalo. Now we've got Power Apps. Power Apps is backed by Microsoft and is a low-code platform that seamlessly integrates with the Microsoft ecosystem. It may be more geared towards enterprise customers. Its scalability and support make it a solid choice. So I think ease of use over here would be a four. Uh, customization would be a three. I think integrations would definitely be a five. Scalability at a four. Community and support, a strong four. And pricing, we're gonna keep at a three. With 23 points, Power Apps is also going into eight tier. We seem to have a strong battle for eight years now, which is a good thing for no-code and low-code users because everything seems to be top-notch right now. All right. So now we're going to move on to the next tool, which is Thunkable. Now, Thunkable is a good choice for simple apps, but may not be the best for more complex projects for those needing a lot of support. However, its pricing is competitive, making it an attractive option for budget-conscious builders. And with that being said, we're going to give you the breakdown of what we think. So let's put ease of use at four. Let's put customization at three. Integrations at a strong two. Scalability, we're going to put place at a three. Community and support at a two. And pricing also at a three, just because it's competitive. So considering that this low score of 17 points for Thunkable is going to be putting them on the B tier list. So the next one we're going to do is AppSheet. Now this is the middle of the road choice. It doesn't exactly excel in any particular area. Its integration with Google Sheets is a plus for those already using Google tools. So taking everything that we said about AppSheet so far, we're going to put the ease of use at three. We're going to put the customization at three, the integrations at three, scalability at two, community and support at three, and the pricing we're going to place at a low two. So putting the entire score of AppSheet at a strong 16, which puts it again in our B tier list. All right, the next thing that we're going to be rating is Zoho Creator. Now, for all of those who have been watching us, you know that Zoho Creator is one of our favorite low-code platforms, and we have done an entire series on this as well. So if you want to watch, we have it linked in our description, and make sure you check that out. Now, uh, let's put this to the test. So for ease of use, I'm going to say that Zoho Creator deserves a strong four for customization. Again, a strong four. Integrations, this is feedback that I got from my tech team. It's going to be placed at a strong five. Scalability at a four. Community and support at a five. And price also at a strong four. Now that puts the total score to about 26 points, which means that Zoho is the first one to go into our S tier list, ladies and gentlemen. The next tool that we're going to be discussing is Airtable. Airtable is a versatile tool that combines the power of spreadsheets with the functionality of a database. And its extensive template library and affordable pricing make it a very attractive option for many. We've used Airtable before and we've created two videos where we've built a sales CRM and a tool for an EV company named Voltex Private Limited. And by the way, they're still using this solution that we gave them to this day. So now we're going to put Airtable to the test and we'll say that the ease of use of this is at a four, the customization stands at a strong three, integrations at a four, 
4, scalability also at a 3, community and support at a 3, and pricing unfortunately we're going to put it at a 2. That brings the entire score to about 19 points, which means that it's good enough for the A tier list, but just a step below for the B tier list. Now, Airtable is officially going to take over Adalo for now, so All right. So the next tool that we're going to be discussing is Caspio. Now, Caspio is used by many big organizations, but its dated interface and limited customization options may be a turnoff for the new builders. It comes with a super pricey plan at almost sixty thousand rupees a year for a starting pack at almost seventeen lakhs for an entire enterprise. So, considering that it comes at a heavy, heavy price point, we're going to be rating this tool now, and I'm going to say that the ease of use for Caspio, we're going to place at a two. Customization, we're going to place at a two. Integrations also at a two. Scalability at a four because you have a lot of options with regards to that. Community at support at a two, and pricing we're going to give a nice big shunya. <laughs> So with that being said we're going to place this in C tier because it's only managed to maintain 12 points. All right, so now the next tool that we're going to move on to is Bubble. We've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Bubble has powerful customization and scalability. It offers a wide range of design options and can even handle complex apps with ease. However, it may require a bit more technical knowledge compared to other app builders. Okay, so now we're going to put it to the test and I think Bubble's ease of use is definitely at a 4. Their customization also at a 4. Integrations however we're going to place at a 3, scalability at a 4, community and support at a 4 and pricing also at a 3. This puts Bubble at a strong score of 22 points, also putting it into the A tier list. So now we're literally running out of space. So Bubble needs to go on top of Retool. Now we're looking at the tier list, and I think I'm kind of happy with what I'm seeing. But we're not done with it yet, so let's see how the rest of this goes. The next tool that we're going to be discussing is Webflow. Now Webflow might be a front-end developer's dream, offering great customizations and design flexibility. However, its focus on web design may limit its app building capabilities. While it excels in creating visually stunning websites, it may not be the best choice for complex, data-driven apps. Now put this to the test and say that its ease of use is going to be at a three, customization at a four, integrations at a three. scalability at 2 community and support at 3 and pricing also at 3 that thing that brings the total to about 18 points and that is good enough to make webflow go into our b tier list so All right, we've got two more tools left, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let's talk about Glide for a second. Glide is the king of ease, allowing you to create apps from spreadsheets in minutes. It's perfect for simple data-driven apps, but falls short on integrations and pricing. So, considering all of these factors, we're going to rate it along the following lines. So, the ease of use we're definitely going to put at the top, which is a five. Customization we're going to place at a three. Integrations at a two. Scalability at a three. Community and support at a three. And pricing also at a two. Now that puts the entire points to about 18 which also means that glide belongs in our B tier list. So so I think glide definitely beats thunkable. So we're going to cover that up over there. All right. So we've gone through the entire list ladies and gentlemen. We're now down to the last app building tool. The next tool that we're going to be talking about is Framer. Now some of you might know that we've used Framer multiple times now. We did a video where we had a no code expert with us telling us the amazing capabilities of Framer along with five other amazing website builders. And not just that, we also did another video where we took an idea and launched it as a working MVP into the market in just 5 days. Make sure you watch both of these videos after this and for all our Indian audience let us tell you that you can build customize and launch an amazing website using framer.ai for absolutely free and that's why we're going to put framer right next to zoho creator so let's talk about the breakdown that we're going to give framer all right the ease of use we're going to place at a 5 the customization easily a 5 integrations we're going to place it at a 4 scalability also we're going to place it at a 4 community and support at a 5 and pricing at a solid 4 so there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is the end of our tier list no code app builders are a game changer for non techies and entrepreneurs the best ones combine ease of use customization scalability and affordability framer and zoho creator are our topics and remember this is just our opinion your perfect match might be different but the key is to find the tools that works for you and your budget don't be afraid to try out a few and see what clicks but keep in mind that pricing can make or break your decision So go out there and start building. Keep trying new things and learning as you go. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Leave a comment and tell us which builder you can't wait to try. Till then, keep building.